Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you my script Draws 3D Sprite. So this script uh, is based on Heartbeast's video he made where he showed an old method of uh, uh, creating 3D illusions. So here's the video. I will link it in the description here. And now I can show you some examples you can create with this script. So first off, we have all these sprites uh, and I'm going to show you more about them in a second. But uh, first off, we're going to enter this object 3D here. Okay, so in here you can see a bunch of uh, comments right now. Uh, but if I enable this code line here, we can see that we have draw sprite 3D. Otherwise you should have draw sprite and then you can select from all these default functions. But now you can see a new one has been added at draw sprite 3D. Okay, so here first off we define our sprite we want to use. So in this case I want to use sprite plane, which is this sprite right here. So if I open it, if I go into edit sprite, we can see it's just a normal flat image here. And then we're gonna define the pixel height, which is the amount of pixels you want to extrude the sprite you want to use. So for example, uh, if you have this flat plane, if we set pixel height, we want to repeat this plane 60 times upwards. And then we get to quality, which means how smooth the extrusion will look like. So if we would set this to one, we would get one new plane for each new pixel it goes up. If I set this to like 10, we get 10 new planes for one pixel up. It's quite simple. The higher amount here, the smoother the extrusion will look. So if I set this to 60, it would look really smooth, but it will also take a lot of computer power. Then we have where we're going to uh, draw this sprite, and then we just use these objects, X and Y coordinates. And then we want to define the image X scale and Y scale, and this one should usually be set to one uh, for both of them, unless you want to play around with it. You can see what it does. I'm not going to go that deep into this. And then we have extrusion scale. This is almost like the pixel height, except it has some other functions which can be used to make side, uh, side views on these 3D sprites. You'll see in, a, in a, some examples here. Then we have image angle, which is uh, the rotation of the sprite. So if you go in here, if we have an uh, image angle of 45, we will rotate this sprite 45 degrees. So we get this, something like this. And then 180 we get from this. So it just flips this, you know, basic stuff. And then we have the color, uh, which uh, basically means if I set this to image blend, this is the same thing as uh, C white. I'm just gonna use image blend for now. Then we have the alpha, which is the transparency or opacity of the uh, extrusion. So. If I run this now, we should have an extruded plane, and boom! At the first sight, it looks kind of weird, but when I spin it around with my mouse, as you can see, we get a 3D object that follows my mouse. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this is amazing. I think it's amazing. But, uh, as you can see, there are some uh, bumps here that we can see on this side here. So to fix this, we just need to increase the quality. So I've set this to 100. We should see 
yeah you can see very much more smooth here so if I set this to let's say one instead just to show you the difference it's oh <laughs> uh, I should probably set this to two or s something yeah as you can see now you get two plays here um, so if if you set this to five, um, as you can see the you get two planes here. And now if I set the extrusion scale to five as well, you should see that each plane here, the the distance between these planes here uh, are increased. So. Um, yeah, this is like the distance between the pixel or the layers and this is how many layers you want and this is how many layers between each layer you want uh, yeah <laughs> and then if I go to next you can see the I've made a rectangle basic rectangle which I use the the sprite block to just to show you here we have a flat sprite and then I have an isometric rectangle so this is an isometric plane or block as you can see now I can spin it around and it looks kind of 3d not really but and then we have the block which then extrudes this and boom Oh yeah, we added also these blocks here. If I go into here, you can see if I edit the sprite, we have one uh, yellow and one light yellow. And as you can see, it, it, it uh, extruded them perfectly. So we had a 3D block, great. Then I can show you a triangle, which looks like this. But as you can see now, we have, if you see between these two planes, it looks very pixely. So if I increase, the quality is set to zero right now. If I increase this to five, for example, we should get a smoother. Yes, as you can see, much better already. You can see here between, and then if I increase it to 50, yeah, great. We should get a really smooth. Yeah, really smooth. Great. Looks nice, right? Um, going further on, we can see that this triangle sprite here, if I go into the its uh, sprite, we can see that for each frame, this size decreases. So. It goes from, if I show preview, it looks like this. And that's each layer for uh, the 3D extrusion. Okay, now we have the next one. Let's take a look at that. Now I'm going to show you uh, an example from Heartbeast's video. Uh, I tried to uh, make my <laughs> a car myself. So here's my car. And as you can see, it looks kind of 3D, but uh, it's still quite pixely. The layers, each layer, are quite flat. So, uh, as you can see, if I would go to and uh, set the pixel height to two instead, as you can see here, that if I look at this car again. It looks kind of weird, but now if I change it back to one and set this one to five, for example, the car starts looking 3D. So if you look at this uh, uh, back wing here, it looks more thicker. And uh, here you can see the tires are looking 3D as well. And uh, the car drives around and drifts. Quite nice, and then if I uh, 
set the extrusion Y scale to larger number. It looks still looks funny, but if I then change the X and Y scale, for example, oh, oops, two, two. you can see that we should have a larger car here. Quite nice, quite nice, right? And then if I set the pixel light to two, for example, we should it should look fun again, as, as, as you can see. But if I set this to 0 0.5, for example, it gets really flat, but still looks quite nice. Looks okay, looks fine. And then, yeah. Moving on. Car 2. Um, now, this, you can directly see that this looks a little bit more like a 3D car. So if I uh, scale it up a bit by changing the X and Y scale, uh, we can see it more clearly. So uh, increasing the extrusion scale and uh, the X and Y scale, you can see the 3D effect more clearly. Uh, moving on to the next one, we have a cylinder, which is uh, a circle extruded upwards start this and yeah we get a cylinder we increase the pixel height to 20 you can see it gets larger there so if I set it to 40 it gets quite high so yeah you can see if I set the pixel extrusion height to like 3 we should have, uh, yeah, as you can see here, a larger cylinder. You can see this like dithering effect of the sides here. Looks quite nice, but if you don't want that, you can fix it with the pixel quality height here. So if you set this to 10 or 100, sorry. It kind of disappears a little bit, but not really, whatever. So. And then here we get to the more advanced usages of this script. I have made a tree here. And here's a tree, uh, three dimensional. Uh, so this tree is built up by frames. So we start with the roots here and then go upwards the trunk until we reach the leaves here. And it just goes like that. So if I show a preview, it like scans the tree from bottom to top. That's it. Uh, and you can use this script to extrude it. And so uh, this is from an isometric view, kind of. And uh, if I just come come with this, I mean, this is from a more uh, top-down view. Uh, where you can see I set the, uh, oops, I can set the, I set the extrusion scale to zero, which uh, you can see here only extrudes it uh, uh, upwards, like as it is underneath you. So something like this. So you can't see the trunk at all, and then that's like some some effects you can do with it. And then we have the top side view-ish view here. So uh, this is a more uh, stretched view of the tree here. So uh, this could be like an, a road here going by and then this tree. Yeah, kind of seen from side view-ish. As you can see, the, you can see the branches here underneath the leaves and stuff which you couldn't do uh, in the previous one 
Then we have a figure, uh, which is one. So here we have a figure, just four planes above each other. So this here, there we go. This is an extruded view. So if I spin it around, the more I spin it, the closer it gets to the camera, the bigger it gets, and you can see here. It's quite an, I thought it was an interesting concept, but yeah. Then we have the figure two, which is a little bit more advanced. So it's kind of building inspired model, which has different uh, layer sizes and stuff. You can see that it goes in a bit here and then keeps going up and then finally the three cubes at the top. So you can make like an isometric city with this script. Uh, it's really really easy and the collision is like extremely easy so um, if you set a depth on each here you can make that cards cars only collide to the bottom sprite and it's it's amazing so so I hope you guys like the video please check out the script it's free so I can't see a reason why not to download it it's only useful and it's really easy to make an 3d extruded sprite I mean look at this tree this only took like five minutes making this tree so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching i leave a link to the marketplace where you can download this script and i'll see you guys in my next video peace